I want to tell you something that most believers would probably disagree with or won't tell you. But if you are a believer of Jesus Christ, I want you to stop saying, I'm going to do it scared. I'm going to do it afraid. I want you to stop saying that today because there is nowhere in the Bible that encourages God's people to do anything afraid, to do anything scared. Everything in the word of God tells us to do the complete opposite, that we are to be bold, that we are to be courageous, that we are to have courage in God. And so anytime you start to feel afraid to do anything, I want you to go back to your prayer closet. And I also want you to surround yourself with people whose faith is greater than yours. So when it is time for you to pursue real estate, you're not going to do it scared. The Bible says that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And I looked up that word evil and it's not just wickedness, but it also means adversity. And everyone knows that when you're going through a real estate transaction, chances of adversity are very high. So what that scripture tells me is that even though I may face adversity in this process, I will not fear it. So we will not do anything scared. Father God, I pray right now for your people, oh Lord, that you would give them the boldness to pursue purpose, oh Father, that you would give them the discipline, oh Father, to study what needs to be studied that you would give them the resources, oh Father, to increase their credit scores, Father, that you would give them everything that they need so that their real estate transaction, as you drop these keys and deeds their way, that there will be absolutely nothing that stops them. Father, we won't do it scared, but we'll do it bold because you said so. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.